hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? Today I'm talking about pros and cons. Pros are the good, cons are the bad. So in this video, I'm just giving an overview of the pros and cons of making a decision. And then throughout the next few videos, I'm going to feature like the pros and cons of marriage, the pros and cons of being single, the pros and cons of YouTube, the pros and cons of Facebook. So it will be probably like four or five videos, a series um, regarding the pros or the cons. But I wanted to set it up um, in saying that pros and cons, it's a good technique to use when you need to make a big decision. And so I've been using this technique for years. Um, if I, you know, if I'm looking for a new job and I get a job offer, I will write down the pros and the cons of accepting this position. How far is it? Well, it's further than the other place where I've worked or the office space looks ick. Um, too many people, whatever. Whatever may be a con to me may be a pro to you. But I think it's important that you know what you want to accept and what you're not going to accept before making a big decision. We may use the pros and the cons in seeking out a relationship. I want a partner who's really tall. That's a pro. A con is I don't want a really short partner. A pro, I need a partner that makes $80,000 a year. A con is, oh man, that partner does not make $80,000 a year. So then I think it's important to list all of your, your pros, list your cons. And what I've always done, and I've been doing this for years, I will make the list of the pros and the cons. And if the the pros are, is if I have more pros, then I go with it. I go and make that decision in the favor of having more pros. But if I have more cons, I normally were like, nope, can't do it. I got more cons than I have pros. And if I go with that decision anyway, in the long run, I'm not going to be happy. So it's important but I, another trick that I know I've done this to myself, I have needed to make a decision and I really knew it was a bad decision, but I wanted to do it anyway. And so the cons were longer. Maybe I had 20 cons and 10 pros and I would try to make up so many pros just so that list would be longer. Don't do that to yourself because you're going to most likely regret it. And so when you're making a list of pros and cons, be very honest with yourself and actually write it down. I'm more like a hands-on learner, visual, and so I think it's important to write it down. And now you can see it. These are all the pros of staying in this relationship. These are the cons of staying in this relationship. And you can use this technique for anything buying a house not buying a house um, moving out of your parents house staying in your parents house and making a really succinct list that you can really look at and say you know what it's probably better if I don't make this decision or maybe it's better for me if I do make this decision and so that is what over the next few videos I will be tackling the pros and cons of some decisions that all of us have to make um, over our lifetime. Different decisions that are common to most of us. But what's not common is what may be a con to me is a pro to you. So you have to balance what's good for you. It's not always good for someone else. But you need to think about you right because at the end of the day you got to live with you and you have to live with your decisions so watch out for these videos they'll be um uploaded over the next few weeks the pros and the cons thank you
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.